Well, would you know if an AI-generated person, if you saw one? Well, what if you saw this? Our sister station in Chicago talked to a man who fell for a romance scam using an AI-generated woman. He says he lost nearly $60,000 after she convinced him to make an investment. A second man looking for love online was also duped out of thousands after falling for women he thought were interested in meeting him. But were actually scammers using altered photos and videos. Sometimes, though, criminals, they trip themselves up. And ABC 13's Brittany Wilmore is here with what to look for early on in a potential relationship. If you have concerns, you know, it's AI. Brittany. Good morning. If there's not much personalization in what they say, that could be a red flag. For example, can they tell you specific things from their childhood or where they used to live? Are they a little too smooth when they speak? As humans, we naturally pause or don't always talk consistently. On that note, keep the conversation fluid and pay attention to how questions are answered. Do they always want to schedule time with you or refuse face-to-face -face interaction? If they try to quickly move the conversation to a messaging app shortly after meeting or refuse to phone or video call off the cuff, that might be a sign. Let's go back to the video we showed you a few moments ago of the altered images. I talked to an expert who said, look out for if lines are too clean, bland, or generic. Also pay attention to the proportions of the features. AI-generated people often have less wrinkles or blemishes. Check the backgrounds too. Do you notice anything virtual that's looping behind them? Are there noises you might find in a natural environment like a lawnmower or the coffee maker? Now let's say you know they're a fake, but the instinct there might be to call them out immediately, but don't lead with that as a reason to end the relationship. Instead, keep things general. Here's why. Well, the reason I wouldn't get specific is the danger is you're actually giving feedback to the, the fraudster and the criminal. If, if, if you're too specific around, we think you were, we think you're not a real person, you're actually helping that fraudster to learn and then commit the crime elsewhere. And sometimes silence really is golden. Usually, if you're quiet on a call, people have the natural instinct to jump in and say, hey, is everything okay? Well, AI doesn't really do that because it's waiting for a prompt. So in that case, sometimes say less. Back to you.